and Clarice heading down to Tazzy. What's up? You're gonna upgrade even bigger. Oh my god, you're out of control. So we finally made it to Hobart. Last night was a bit dark and I was a bit tired, so I stopped filming. But we picked up this pimp mobile, flashy gold, some fresh apples from a tree. Let's see. Let's get one. Which one? Maybe this one? Holy shit. I thought it was going to taste terrible. It's actually delicious. It's actually my birthday. <laughs> Perfect little birthday, Ricky. And here's our little cabin for the next couple of days. Ta da! There's a little Clarice over there. Ooh. How's the view? <laughs> It's a bit rainy and stormy, but that's Tazzy for you. Look, I picked an apple from a tree. <laughs> yeah. After that light little apple brekkie, we went to the Salamanca markets and got a real breakfast. What you got? After the markets we went to this pretty cool pub where the barman let me borrow his special queue for a couple of games of pool. As you can see I was a little bit dusty the next morning but it was time for a mission. Alrighty. Alrighty, got the car packed up, it's time to head down to the shack, which I've been looking forward to for a couple of years now. Might get the chance to find my first abalone or even a nice big red crave for the first time in a long time. So, car's packed up, ready to go. Borrowed a fishing rod, Clarice is in the front. Got everything organised, like a little organisation queen. Yeah. And we're off. Careful here. <laughs> Hello. 
pretty sure they only come out at night. Yeah, dusk to dawn, yeah. That's where we cook. Yeah. That's the kitchen. Yeah, so yeah. Go like this. Make a big fire. Yeah. Fry potatoes and abalone on that. That's the plan. Oh, you're gonna make a fire? Yeah, we always want a fire down here. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> You'll soon go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> awesome, eh? <laughs> Dizzy. Yeah, look at it go. So finally, it was time to dive. Willem and I headed down to the spot where we both learnt how to snorkel. Luckily his partner Priya had a genius idea of bringing hot water bottles to fill our wetsuits with. This was my first time putting on this brand new 5mm wetsuit, so it was a pretty tight squeeze to get into. There we go, reborn. <laughs> And now I'm a seal. And there we go. Willem and I finally down at the secret spot. Gonna chase a couple of abs and craze. Woo! <laughs> These Tassie craze are way smarter than their northern cousins in my opinion. So I pulled myself down this bit of kelp so that I wouldn't make too much noise when I kicked down from the surface. But it was onto me straight away. No luck this time. But I found another one just on the other side of the rock. I couldn't believe it. Actually, it probably was even the same cray because this one was onto me straight away. I had a little go, but no good either this time. Gave up on the craze for a bit and had a hunt for some abalone. They're a little bit slower. I had a bit of a rest from looking under rocks and in cracks for the craze and abalone and um, passed up these two nice banded mowong which are pretty tasty but way too easy to shoot to get this nice little trumpeter which are lovely eating down here. Alright, back to the cray mission. Just undersized, unfortunately. I found heaps more just undersized craze and then stumbled across this massive hole here full of craze. There was a few big ones at the back, but I couldn't get any, and then my GoPro died. The next morning, we were greeted by this beautiful sunrise and then did a little bit of squid fishing and went for another big trek and dive where, big spoiler alert, I found a bloody crayfish, oh, yeah. but that's for part two. Where's the squid? I don't know. I'm not sure where the squid is. I think it might be just around the corner. Getting this squid. <laughs> I'm trying to get a 